So today I'm just gonna be going through. I'm gonna take the carpet out and vacuum it out a bit just to get all the the dust and dirt out of it. There definitely was a few friends that lived in here once upon a time. It looks to be like a little mouse nest there. And then the nice one that I found was this fella. Definitely a snake in here at one time. So, uh, put some gloves on just to, just in case. So let's get this thing cleaned out. I'm not sure if uh, it's easier or if I did it the harder way, but the window had to be up for like one of the, the bolt or the nuts and then one had to be down for the other nut. There were two tens and I figured out why the door handle to open. Right there, when you open it, she snapped right off. So I'm gonna try to fix it and uh, put her back on for now until I can get a new one. <laughs> so we got the shifter tore apart and we're pretty positive it's just a bad bearing so we're gonna try to get one of those and see if that does anything because she seems to shift pretty okay but one thing we're gonna do is put most likely both these seats down for uh for now, because getting in and out and the seat moving sucks. Okay, so we got like the fuel pump out and uh, she's bad. The wheel's off to kind of see if the brakes would bleed and we do need a brake master cylinder. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, the, the fuel pressure regulator is bad. So we ordered one of those. The screw is actually just loose on the top of it. So we tightened it and it probably could work, but we just ordered a new one. This look like it has been replaced just due to the fact that the clamps are, I don't know if you can see it, in a different spot. But I think this is pretty cool right here, the top part, where it just says Mazda and then Japan right in the corner. Uh, the other thing that we did is we took, the thing is that um, the shifter, it's uh, pretty whopped out and we had taken it all apart and uh, there's a bearing that looks like it's missing. So I'm pretty sure we're going to order one of those two or at least try to like make shift one to see if it will shift, which I'm pretty confident that it will. But 
so far, it just seems like, I don't want to say like basic things, but so far simple things, because again, me and Nick know nothing about like rotaries or, so this is, this is all, all new to us, but we're willing to at least take a stab at it. Cause I mean, who wouldn't want a rotary? Um, the other thing is like the brakes, the, the person that we had gotten this car from super nice guy. He had said that he had gotten this car from, I believe an older man or just another person. And they had completely gutted the car, which I'm okay with that. Mainly for the fact I was going to take all the interior out anyway and redo it. So it makes my job a little easier. The only thing is I am just not going to know where everything goes, which is totally fine. That's what Google's for. Um, but, uh, there's like no no brake pads whatsoever they they're just right on the so one of the things for the inside um the older man that the the guy had gotten this car from had uh cut a bunch of wires so that part definitely does blow um there's these wires that are up here which i'm pretty sure these are like the heater controllers and all that and then there's these ones that connect under the dash. There's a little light on one. Um, I have no, oh, let me zoom out. Not really for sure what this exactly goes to, but that one I'm pretty positive. That's a, the heater control. So Nick took the air filter off in the box. There's, it almost looks like tree set, but when you touch it, I'm pretty sure definitely not so we don't know if it's like the seal that melted Ugh. but uh, here's the air filter made in Japan she's pretty uh toast but it's definitely it's soaked all up over in there For sure what this uh, sensor is here but I'm pretty sure it connects to this but this black one right here if we start it and push this button in I don't know if uh, you can see it it'll stay running but if we don't the car dies So that piece that I was talking about that was up here is a throttle body sensor and Nick just took it off and cleaned it and uh, she definitely runs pretty good now.
Little gas. Play with the gas. Say I am. Say I am. Okay, put it back in here. Oh god. What were you doing with the throttle? Just tap that. Just not, not like that? Yeah. So we definitely tested out the emergency brake beforehand and I could have swore it worked. Nick gave a little push, it stopped. It would, it, it did not work, which is, that's fine. That's totally fine. Only a few things that we actually have left to do them. So we need to do a, because it's not wanting to uh, work properly. We've been having to use the power probe, but we need to do brakes all the way around. Uh, we need a brake master cylinder, a clutch master cylinder, and then we also need to do a bushing for the shifter. And other than that, I think that's pretty much pretty much it. So that's it for this video, and thanks for watching. And last thing, I'm the one that uh, stole the wheels off my husband's truck. They definitely look way better on the RX-7. These are the ones that he ended up getting for his S10. They look pretty spiffy, but I really wanted his old wheels 
And what better way to get them? 